On today's podcast, we'll be talking about navigating safety management approaches. So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. Grasping the subtleties of risk-based, compliance-based, and severity-based safety management methods can profoundly influence the success of your safety measures. Let's delve into four actionable insights to aid you in selecting the optimal strategy for your workplace. Number one, adopt a risk-based method for forward thinking safety. The risk-based method is centered on the early identification and reduction of potential dangers. This forward-thinking strategy includes frequent risk evaluations and fosters a workplace culture where safety is a priority. This method is beneficial, particularly in factories and warehouses where accident risks are elevated. It prepares you to deal with risks associated with machinery, hazardous substances, and operational processes, thereby enhancing both safety and efficiency. Number two, implement compliance-based tactics to uphold legal and ethical norms. Focusing on compliance-based safety management involves conforming to legal standards and industry norms. This tactic is essential to prevent legal issues and uphold ethical practices. In settings like factories and warehouses, adhering to standards such as OSHA regulations is imperative. Through consistent training, audits, and keeping abreast of safety regulations, your facility can comply with and surpass industry norms. Number three, utilize severity-based strategies for managing critical risks. The severity-based approach prioritizes risks based on their potential impact. In environments with high stakes, such as factories and warehouses, this strategy aids in focusing resources and attention on the most critical issues. Managing heavy machinery or hazardous chemicals requires strict safety measures due to the grave consequences of mishandling. And last but not least, number four, combine approaches for an all-encompassing safety plan. While each method has its advantages, combining risk-based, compliance-based, and severity-based strategies leads to a more robust safety management system. This comprehensive approach ensures proactive risk management, legal compliance, and focus on severe risks. Regular safety checks, staff training, and an ongoing improvement culture are essential to effectively integrating these strategies. Safety management in factories and warehouse is not a one-solution-fits-all scenario. Tailoring a mix of risk-based, compliance-based, and severity-based strategies to your facility's unique requirements and hazards is typically the most effective approach. Remember, Maintaining a safe workplace is not just a legal requirement, but also a fundamental aspect of operational effectiveness and employee welfare. And note, always ensure these tips align with your specific facilities guidelines. Merging these strategies can further boost the prominence and efficacy of safety protocols in industrial environments. By implementing a safety culture across various platforms, you can guarantee these crucial messages reach a broader audience, ultimately cultivating a safer, more productive workplace. Thank you for being part of another episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. Until we meet next time, have a great week and stay safe. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. 
And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.